Hello, everybody. This is Lisa Nearing from um, It's Not That Hard to Homeschool, and I'm so glad to be here with you today. I want to share a curriculum review, and this curriculum review is of Seven Sisters New High School Health for the Whole Person. Um, I'm really excited about this, and I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you more about why as we go. But it's a great curriculum, and I think it's going to be really a well-received curriculum in the homeschool market because it does do health from the perspective of the whole person. It's a really well laid out curriculum. And again, I'm excited to bring it to you today. So um, we are going to have this review posted for quite a while, and you can always go back and refer to it as needed, but let's get into it. So with this curriculum, you get a health text, a health test booklet, suggested syllabus, and health errata. And all of this is downloadable information. The syllabus includes topics covered, a grading scale, and a weekly pacing guide for a 30-week year, including, which I really appreciate, information about how to level up the course to be college prep or rigorous honors level course. The text is a 268-page text. So this is not a little lightweight text. This is a robust high school level program. And this text includes the following sections, an introduction, note to parents, how to use this course, including how to assign credits and the amount of work required, depending on the credit level desired. And the course also includes having your kids go and take an ACPR course and a first aid course. I love that part because it's just full of practical information. And those two activities are super practical, right? They literally save lives. Students are expected to read the text, complete the study guide, to take tests, and do a variety of assignments that include reading, studying, and then various other activities. The text itself is divided into two parts. You have your physical health and then your mental health. Um, and it's clearly divided into two parts, um, and they have different chapter designations in the whole bit. So part one, there's 21 chapters, and it includes all major body systems, with the following chapter on disorders of the system previously studied. So it's a really nice overview of the major body systems and a perfect science course for those who don't go as in-depth as a full credit anatomy and physiology course might. But it's a great um, course to go along with biology. You could take it before biology or after biology. If you want another science class without going into an advanced science, this is a perfect fit for that. So 21 chapters on major body systems and um, their dysfunctions. And then part two is nine chapters. So 30 chapters in all. The second part is on emotional mental health, beginning with the brain, covering social and emotional issues such as self-care, safety and relationship issues, and then addictions and tobacco, drug and alcohol um, usage, et cetera. Okay, so Seven Sisters does provide curriculum that's secular or neutral. This curriculum is written from a Christian point of view, but it's not heavy or pedantic in any way. This curriculum is honestly perfect for anybody who wants to, um, to take health. Um, it's a very pragmatic and realistic view around sensitive topics, honestly, such as the reproductive health and disorders and social issues like social safety and healthy relationships. Again, it's really tastefully done. And it provides an excellent jumping off point for parents to have deep and meaningful relationships and conversations with their kids about issues that they're probably already wondering about or honestly have heard on the news. So big things like school shootings and pornography. Honestly, people, you need to have these conversations with your kids while they're in their home. Um, recognize that they've probably been confronted with these issues anyway. And having a curriculum introduce it can take some of that awkwardness out of it. So instead of saying, hey, we need to go have an awkward conversation now, you can just go, okay, this is the health chapter. We need to have this awkward conversation now. And it doesn't make it seem so awkward and out of place. Um, every chapter, every chapter is really manageable. Um, there's text included, but honestly, it's very easy to get the, te the text read. Full color diagrams and models of the systems being covered with descriptive text. So again, I thought the text was really manageable. Um, if you're a fast reader, you could read it in one sitting or you could, you know, there's, and again, the pacing guide is really great. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning, but in the syllabus, there is a pacing guide. I love that part because so many of us as homeschoolers, we get a curriculum and we're like, okay, we have this thing to get done in this many weeks. Now, how do we break it down? Seven Sisters does the pacing for you. Um, you can get this done in 30 weeks. And then if you want to go faster or slower, it's easy to divide it up or speed it up from the pacing guide provided. So um, you do the text, you read the text, you have these beautiful diagrams. At the end of every chapter, there's enrichment exercises to choose from. 
things like writing a paper on the system being studied, building a model, giving a speech, writing a meal plan, like a, a really nice blend of projects, papers, and presentations. I like that because I think our kids kind of get bored of the same thing. Like you read something, okay, go write a paper. Okay, go write another paper. Okay, like another paper. And this is like, it gets them out of that. So they do, there are suggestions for papers, but also a lot of other activities involved as well. And it makes health seem like something that, it, you know, isn't part of all of your life, which it actually is, right? So at the end of every section, um, uh, every chapter, you do have this um, nice uh, um, uh, enrichment activities to choose from. And then there's also teacher resources with hyperlinks listed. And that's a really nice addition, um, especially if your kids get excited about a chapter or you do and you want to just dive deeper, or if you're teaching this class at a co-op or a micro school, this would be perfect for either. Um, it would be super easy for a teacher to pick this up and teach it to a group of kids. And it would be great for a co-op, honestly. Um, then there's a study guide um, at the end of every chapter with five to 10 short answer questions. And I like that because it's a nice little wrap up of the chapter. Like there's a lot of information packed into those chapters, even though it's not like pages and pages of text. So having that study guide at the end of every chapter is just a good wrap up and reminder of, okay, we went over this, right? And it gets the kids ready for the test. So um, I just want to, for those of you who are concerned about how the reproductive um, chapters are handled, very tastefully, they're handled from a really um, pragmatic perspective. Like we all have reproductive organs, right? Um, but here's how to take care of yourself and respect yourself as well as respect others. And what is sex intended for? I love how they've handled everything. There's not a lot of deep explanation. They leave that up to the parent and they just handle it from a pragmatic point of view. The, the enrichment activities for the mental health section are super robust and really creative. I like this one, <laughs> create a self-talk audit. How many of us can use that? Um, and then keep a praise journal. So really fun activities that your kids might actually utilize the rest of their life. These are skill building activities for them, right? Um, make a meal plan. We all do that. Um, my background, um, some of it <laughs> is I have a marriage and family therapy degree and honestly, I really appreciated this section on food and mental health disorders because there's always a diagnosis du jour going around and kids hear a lot of terminology that they really don't know what it means, but they think they do. Like um, for so many years, it was everybody was ADD and I'm not, I'm not taking away from kids who have it at all, but it's just like, okay, that was the diagnosis du jour. And then it was everybody's bipolar. But this study gives a good overview with definitions and information that is age appropriate to your kids so that they can go, well, what is bipolar? That's actually a really serious illness and something that we shouldn't just like joke about or assign to everybody, right? So it's not overwhelming, but it's really solid and it equips the kids with information and definitions, like it gives them tools. Um, there's a step-by-step -step section about if your friend is in trouble, including getting help, and it positions the parents and adults as trusted advisors to young adults, which I think we need more of that in the world. So I really appreciate the fact that they added that in there. There's some basic information about executive functioning. And don't we all wish our young adults um, <laughs> came with executive functioning downloaded? Um, but having them think about um, their own need for self-regulation is a really good point because then it's not just us saying, okay, you need to monitor yourself or um, get better use of your time. It's a section on there in the health in the health text that they can look at objectively and, and hear somebody else talking to them about it. And again, the, there's a chapter on um, addiction, which does cover pornography as well as drug, alcohol, and tobacco usage, sensitive topics to be sure, but let me be sure to clarify this for you. Um, I did write an article on pornography a year ago and look, your kids don't have to go looking for it. It's going to find them and we need to equip them to fight back for it because it can really devastate their lives. So I appreciate that they included it. Again, it's a sensitive topic, but we need to be having these conversations with our kids. Um, the syllabus includes topics covered, a grading scale, which is super nice for those of us who are homeschooling and not sure what to do with the grading scale, a weekly pacing guide for the 30 week year. Um, the tests included are a combination of short answer, matching, fill in the blank, multiple choice, and identifying information on diagrams. So I appreciate that because the assessments Look, I think in high school, we need to assess our kids. Um, there's so much rhetoric in the homeschool community about how testing is really, it defines our kids and, and 
puts them in little boxes and corners and stuff like that. But the reality is, is that we're tested and assessed throughout our adult life. And we need to get our kids used to what an assessment is. It doesn't need to define them. It's actually a tool that we can use for their benefit and for good. So I like the fact that the assessments included have a lot of different um, variety to them so that kids who are really good at short answers, they can succeed there. But if you're better at fill in the blank or multiple choice or identifying diagrams, everybody gets to succeed with the tests included. So I love that part. Now, this class is gonna give your kids a full credit of science if you want it, or you can use it for health or an elective or life skill, however you choose to put it on the transcript. I wanna reiterate, it is an engaging, well-laid out program. It's gonna equip your kids for a thorough understanding of how to care for themselves throughout life. And for that reason, I highly recommend it. All of the materials at Seven Sisters are just top notch. And this one is no different than the rest. So again, highly recommended. I love it. I think you're going to love it too. Um, we'll put the links to where you can find it. And of course, um, how to get a hold of Seven Sisters in the comments and in the bio um, here. So you can get a hold of it easily and quickly. If you have any questions about it, I'd love to chat with you. Again, I loved this program. I thought it was top notch. And it's going to be a great addition to your science curriculum for junior or even senior high. Now, if you use it for junior high kids, I would go through it first. I wouldn't just hand it to your kids because again, there's some sensitive topics. And um, while most of our kids have been exposed to things like school shootings, some of them might not have been and it might be upsetting to them. So this is the kind of program you could even put in your morning basket if you have a if you have a wide range of kids from like age 12 on up, it'd be great to do together. Um, or you could easily do it in a co-op or again in a micro school. So I hope this has been helpful to you. This is Lisa again from It's Not That Hard to Homeschool. And we will be back soon. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.